So like, I have a, f a few hours in Terraria, and I've played it for a little bit. So I'd probably consider myself a Terraria veteran. With that being said, I decided to do a tier list video on all of the bosses and NPCs in Terraria. While watching this video, try to keep in mind that this is my opinion, and you shouldn't take it quite that seriously. And with that being said, let's start with the bosses. Okay, Slime Slime King, you know, let's be real for a second. Slime King is not a good boss. He's one of the most exploitable bosses in the game, without a doubt. And so for that reason, his loot's not good. Like the slime gun, the sli like the slime mount is mediocre, but it's not bad when you're starting out the game. So for this reason, I'm going to give him a D tier. He's okay, but he's not the best. We're not ranking these bosses on difficulty, because if I did that, it'd just be like easiest boss, hardest boss when it comes to tiers. We're doing it on how good the bosses are themselves when it comes to difficulty, how easy you get the items, how good the items they drop are, and of course, expert mode. Slime King, when he's in expert mode, all he does is just spawn spike slimes to deal more damage, so he's not really that much of an improvement. I Cthulhu is probably an A tier, in my opinion. Not because of the boss. The boss fight is challenging. When I'll be honest, when I first played 1.3, it came. It was challenging when I did extra mode, but like the item he drops, the eye of the shield is so good, even good up to end game, and I find that to be very useful. So I'd put um, <laughs> I have Cthulhu at at least an A tier. Eater of Worlds probably a B tier to be honest. I mean, Eater of Worlds is not necessarily that challenging. He does put up quite a fight in extra mode when he has the balls come out of it, but like other than that. He's not necessarily that hard of a fight. His item is very good, which is why he's at B. If his item was mediocre, I'd put him C at best. Brain Cthulhu. F tier. 100% F tier. I don't care what you guys say, but F tier goes for the Brain Cthulhu. That's my opinion. He's nothing. He's literally nothing. That's what I don't get. And for that reason, I'm going to have to put him at F tier. Because his item is trash, the boss is trash, his the only thing that's good out of it is a sword, which he used to make the Knight's Edge, which then he used to make the Terra Blade. Queen B is probably a decent C tier, like he's a high tier C tier, so I feel like he's okay. But in general, I feel like the Queen B is not much of a challenge once you get the hang of it. Plus, B nades are very useful for the Wall of Flesh, even in normal and expert mode, so I'd say that he's at least a C tier. Skeletron. Sorry, not Skeletron Prime. Uh, no, that's not, I said it right. Skeletron. Skeletron, he's he he has a special part for me because the dungeon is a very important part and you can't beat it without him. I'd put him probably B tier with the Eater of Worlds, but like not above. The Bone Glove is not necessarily that good of a weapon, but going into the dungeon and being able to get all the loot it makes him a lot better in that case. So I put him. High B tier, just because of what he unlocks in the game. Wall of Flesh, S tier. Guaranteed S tier. Let me explain, okay? The Wall of Flesh is by far the big, most important boss fight in the game. Because without the Wall of Flesh, there's no hard mode. Think about that. You don't get you don't get the Pwn Hand, which you use to break the ores and altars. You don't get the badges, which are used for summer classes, range classes, ma magic classes, and melee classes for the entire series. Even to end game, those items are important because of how you use the Tinker's Workshop. And then there's the fact that his expert mode item gives you one extra accessory slot, which makes him a lot better. But he's not necessarily hard, but he is a very important fight in the series, so I'm putting him at S tier for that. Pantera is probably an S tier, mainly because in how when you fight, when it comes to the um, the uh, Pantera, when it comes to him, you have to find the bulb first off, which that alone can be a challenge. Another thing is that you have to build an entire arena around the bulb every single time you find one. Even if you lose, you gotta find another one, build it again, go back to the arena. So for that reason, he's also a bit of a challenge. He does drop the key that unlocks the jump, like the temple, which is very useful in my opinion. So for that reason, I think I put him at S tier with the Brain Cthulhu. He's not the best boss, but he's definitely one of the, like, you know, he's definitely good. The dragon is definitely A tier. 
he's not necessarily a boss. He's more of an event boss, like the rest of these down here. But he is quite the challenge, and he drops very good stuff. And, like, the wings he drops, so good. The animation is very crisp for a game like Terraria. So, actually, I'll put him ahead of wins. He's a high tier. He's a high A tier. I feel like he's one of the best bosses in the game. He's an enjoyable boss, and I fight him with, like, when I do multiplayer servers, we always fight him. Pressing X mode, he can be a lot of a challenge, but that's what makes it fun. Difficulty is not too hard, but pretty hard, pretty hard you know? The bunny and the turkey are both death tier, I'm sorry. They were both mosses exclusive to mobile, and they had not good items. None of them had really any good items in the game. For that reason, I'd probably put them... I, I can't put them anything higher than F. Like, the Brain of Cthulhu is the best F tier you're gonna get. I'm saying that now. So that's, now that this is done, we can now go to the NPC tier list. Slime here. Why? Why is the slime here? P tier. All right. The ninja's not an NPC. You guys, I hope they know that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. Out of all my footage when I was making those two tier lists, those six minutes were the only interesting parts I had. I decided to make this video and have this video idea on my part, and I feel like we can both tell that this wasn't my best work or the greatest decisions. So if you if you put down in the comments below what you would like me to do, I will consider it and maybe even do it. So look forward to that. And if this video by chance hits five likes, I will do a tier list video on every single weapon in Terraria. And I promise you, if we hit five likes, it will not be like this. It will be not rushed. It will be taken care of and it will not be live streamed because when it's live streamed, it's a little bit harder for me to do better takes. And considering that it's going to take forever to get all the weapons done, I personally feel like doing a tier list video in, as recording is a lot better than streaming. But both of the tier lists are showing up right now in case you didn't know already what I did for both of them. And all this was streamed live on my Twitch, so if you'd like that, go check that out. But anyways, I'm gonna head out, so peace.